Body Formulators. I am along from Skin Chakra, the place to purchase excellent quality cosmetic raw material and to learn how to formulate like a cosmetic chemist. Today I'm going to share a kiss formulation with you. This is an extremely light but rich emulsion with absolutely no soapiness. Absorbs immediately without any absorbs immediately without without any soapiness or white streaks very rich in skin feel and very silky and it is made with one of our star ingredients which is a cationic palm free emulsifier emulsions and to increase the viscosity or in, improve the uh, stability i'm using a long chain fatty alcohol which is as well palm free which is our brassica alcohol so join me for this tutorial and uh, as always all of the ingredients and tutorial are on our blog gather your ingredients and join me as i walk you through making this kiss emulsion for those of you who are wondering why my hair is turning darker and darker from video to video i am going to share my secret with you and that is that we are testing a new peptide since last year uh, this peptide uh, reactivates the hair melanocytes so that uh, no matter which color your natural hair is and when it starts turning gray this peptide in goes into the melanocytes, reactivates them, and your hair roots uh, become your natural color uh, again after they have turned gray. So this is the secret of my hair turning uh, darker and darker. This ingredient would be available on our shop within a few weeks. I just wanted to break the happy news to you so that you get ready to test this ingredient as well. Join me through this tutorial and we'll make this emulsion. The procedure is rather straightforward. You have a water face and an oil face and you heat them separately in a water bath at around 70-75 degrees. In the water phase, I have a distilled water, I have pantenol, a natural chelator and the powder if you can see it is arginine in the oil phase i have my emulsifier which is the emulsins i have brassica alcohol and i have baobab oil and olive squalan both of them rather uh, heat stable and i can use them in a hot process this certain emulsifier doesn't need any gum. You can use a gum if you want, but make sure that you are using uh, gums that are non-ionic because the emulsifier is cationic. So you can not use xanthan gum or every other gum that contains xanthan gum with this emulsifier. I personally do not use any gum here and manipulate the viscosity by using waxes or in this case I am adding brassica alcohol to stabilize and to increase the viscosity. By experience I know that this emulsifier creates a rather low pH. I am using a preservative that is independent of the pH but I want the pH of my final product to be around 4.5 to 5. So I have added arginine powder and it has dissolved easily here, as you can see, to increase the pH from the very beginning. Arginine has a very low uh, solubility in water and it is easier to add it at the beginning in the water phase even if you add a little bit more then it is easier to reduce the pH at the end than to increase the pH at the end. This is something that you will find out by trial and horror by making small batches and then figure out how much you need to come to the exact pH that you need. In addition, I have a 
another oil phase, which, is, which are my uh, heat sensitive ingredients, that is vitamin E, vitamin C, both of them antioxidants and they have a synergetic effect. I have my uh, preservative system, which is spectrostat G2N, and I have the Elang Elang essential oil. <clears throat> then additionally, I have allantoin. Allantoin is a moisturizing and anti-inflammatory ingredient and I deliberately add it at the end because I want to reduce its exposure time to heat. Allantoin has a very uh, low solubility in water. It's about, at, at room temperature, it's about 0.2%. I am adding it to the oil phase because in this way I can apply it a little bit more. I am using 0.5% in this formulation. And then I have my prebiotic uh, powder that uh, it is actually uh, heat stable, but still I want to reduce its exposure to heat. So I'm adding it after my both phases are ready and then uh, just just before blending the two phases i'm adding it to the water phase and in this manner i reduce its exposure to heat so both my uh, oil and water phase are heated now and you uh, as you can see all of the oil phase is melted so i'm going to add the heat sensitive ingredients and blend the two phases but so this is my water phase and I am going to add the a prebiotic before blending two phases together. I'm using a homogenizer today. It becomes loud. the allantoin to the oil phase just at the end to reduce its exposure to heat. Allantoin is not oil soluble but you can easily disperse it in the oil phase. And now I'm going to emulsify the oil phase to the water phase with the homogenizer for a few minutes. That is almost done, the emulsion. Now we have to cool it down. And then at the end, we can add our heat sensitive oil phase, which consists of the antioxidants, uh, the preservative and the essential oils. But now I'm going to let it stir here. This is something that uh, you usually don't do in your artisanal lab, because if you don't have any overhead stirrer, so either you invest in an overhead steer, which is a very reasonable decision, or you just uh, come and steer your emulsion every now and then uh, as it is cooling down.
So it is going to stir for about half an hour till it cools down and we can add other ingredients and measure the pH. My emulsion has been stirring for about half an hour and it's uh, cold now and I'm going to add the sensitive oil face and let it uh, stir for a few what, further minutes. The next step is preparing a 10% dilution of the emulsion in distilled water and measuring the pH. I have already calibrated my pH meter with the buffers 4 and 7 and uh, we are now ready in a few minutes to prepare our sample for pH measurement. I have made a 10% dilution of the emulsion in distilled water and now comes the magic moment of measuring the pH. The electrode is already calibrated, I just need to rinse it. completely with distilled water. Pack it dry. And we'll see how it works. So let me see, 4.68, exactly the range that I wanted. I wanted a pH between 4.5 and 5, and it's exactly in the range. <clears throat> so we are finished now. The emulsion is uh, in the pH range that we wanted. All of the ingredients are added. You just need to make your micro kit and stability samples and fill the rest in a suitable container. The viscosity will slightly increase during the next 24 hours, but still it is rather suitable for, a, for an emulsion pump uh, rather than a jar. I fill the emulsion in, in an emulsion bottle, as you can see, it has a very nice and silky texture, very smooth. And the best part is that it absorbs easily without any soapiness, any white streaks, or without any tackiness. It has an amazingly nice and light uh, skin feel, although it is actually very rich. I have used uh, olive squalan and baobab oil in this formulation. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you soon with another tutorial. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye.